Hi everyone, Kitten Pop here, and today I'm going to be doing a fun other little craft, and today I'm going to be putting together a Sailor Moon puzzle, and I'm also going to be gluing it together and framing it. So I hope you enjoy this video, and here we go. Okay, so for this project, in order to put your puzzle together, you're going to need your puzzle. So I got this Sailor Moon puzzle from GameStop and it's on my favorite season because it introduces my second favorite Sailor Scout, which is Sailor Saturn. And then of course it also introduces the other two Outer Rim Sailor Scouts, Uranus and Neptune, and also that music when they're transforming. <laughs> freaking awesome. So, there's Thancred. I was wondering when he wanted to be in the video. So, you're going to need your puzzle. You're going to need, of course, mods, poge, puzzle glue. This one is specifically for puzzles. They have other mod glue, but this one is specifically for puzzles. And the reason why this is great is you can just put it on top and it'll show out clear. And also, while it's dry, it will show the creases of the puzzle to make sure that you put it in every single spot. You will need a brush, a sponge brush, to help push it across. But of course, you will be mainly using a credit card or a hard plastic card. This is my old Hot Topic card that I got when I was 14. Whenever I bring it into Hot Topic, they're surprised, like, we don't even give that out anymore. We just use phone numbers. So it's okay if I ruin this. It's a little nostalgic because I've had it since I was 14, but this is going to be your main thing to spread the glue. This is only if you need some extra help. And then of course you're going to need wax paper to put to help protect your surface and to put the puzzle on top because it's going to be too hard to try and make the puzzle and then slide the wax glue under. And then of course you're going to need your frame. This is a nice cheap frame I got from Hobby Lobby. They were half off so I decided to get this one. You want to make sure it's the right size. This is too big for the puzzle. This is 22 by 28 and on the back they usually tell you what the size is. So this is 19 by 27. So no, Hobby Lobby just didn't sell a 19 inch frame. I really don't think anyone does so that's okay that's a little bigger. But you want to make sure to get a nice and cheap frame or you can get an expensive frame. It's up to you. And by the way, this mod, they did sell mod at Hobby Lobby, but they didn't sell puzzle glue. So I had to go to Michael's for this. So this whole project was technically three stores because I got this from Sprouts while I was there. And this was expensive wax paper for a crafting project, but whatever, it's going to have to work. So I'm going to put on my 2020 Yes, I'm a huge true crime fan, and I'm going to just do this puzzle. Well, I'm going to lay out my wax paper, do this puzzle, and go from there.
I'm just taking a break from the puzzle, having lunch. I have some gluten-free um, and vegan macaroni and some barbecue jackfruit. I haven't tried neither of these things yet. Pretty good. Mmm, my jackfruit is really good. Both of these things I got from Sprouts. So yeah, pretty good. I did add some oregano spice to the macaroni though, but that's just a personal thing. I'm Italian, so I love oregano. So the picture part is pretty much done. Now comes the hard part with all of the puzzles that are the same colors. And I still can't find that edge piece for some reason. It's really driving me crazy. I wonder if I lost it somewhere when I was searching for all the edge pieces. But really driving me crazy that I can't find it. But yeah, here comes the hardest part with all the pieces that pretty much look alike. Oh my god, I finally found it. I found the very corner of Luna's foot. Ugh. At least the frame is done, I guess. I'm one of those people who like can't see my progress no matter how far I got, so I know it's mostly done, but I'm still frustrated because I'm at the hardest part where all the colors are the same, and I just want to finish it already. Okay, top of the puzzle is done. All that's left is the bottom. It's such a pretty puzzle. I'm so, at first I like hated that I bought this puzzle because it was so hard. But it's such a pretty puzzle that I love, I bought it. Okay guys, we are almost done. And once this is done, we can get to the gluing part of the video. <laughs> Only the bottom needs to be done at this point. All right, time to put in the last piece. And there we go, the puzzle is done after three days of working on it. Now it's time to glue it. Here you have your plastic card and your paintbrush with a sponge. Make sure your puzzle is on wax paper and is nice and flat. You're going to pour your glue directly on the puzzle. I know this is a little scary, but don't worry. You're going to flatten it out with your plastic card. See how you can see the white lines between the puzzle pieces? That's how you know you're getting the glue in between, and you want to make sure you see the white line of glue in between each puzzle piece as you're gluing it and smoothing it out with your credit card. The sponge brush is usually just used for excess glue either on your glue bottle or on your puzzle to help flatten it out, but also it leaves a strange effect so you want to make sure you go over it again with your credit card.
When you're done, you want to make sure you look over the puzzle that, so you can see all the white lines. And if you notice any empty spots like I did here, you want to make sure to pour more glue over that and fill it up and make sure the white lines are all there to show that you have glue in between the puzzle pieces. Do not worry about all the white on your puzzle because this glue is meant to dry clear. The average drying time is 15 minutes, but it actually took my puzzle 25 minutes to fully dry and you will know your puzzle is fully dry because you will no longer see any more white and it will come out clear like you see here. Finally, put your glue puzzle in its frame. I know this puzzle is uneven in the frame, but this type of frame where you have to slide on the edges can be really difficult to work with. And after a certain point, I just got frustrated and just slid the edges in. Now all that's left to do is to find a nice place to put it on your wall for all to see and for it to be displayed of your hard work of putting together a puzzle. This puzzle was particularly difficult because it had strange puzzle pieces, um, like right here. This was, <laughs> this was just presented weirdly, so I thought that this was one giant piece right here, but it turned out to be two. But if you want to pick up the Sailor Moon puzzle at GameStop, it's easy and it's not easy to do. It's difficult to do but you'll have a fun time doing it but you might get frustrated and re like freak out that you lost some pieces like I did but otherwise it's a nice fun piece me and Dancred's butt we'll catch you later I hope you have a great day say bye Dancred say bye to everyone <laughs>